So here's an airplane that I built that I call the canard tube, simply because I can't think of any better name at the moment. I mean, it's a tube, and at the same time it's a canard. <laughs> uh, it's actually based on the Peace Drone, built by Ed of Experimental Airlines. Uh, though it has a shorter main wing span, it's four, of 40 inches compared to Ed's 60, and the canard wing has a span of 25 inches as opposed to Ed's 30. And also, the main wing has a cord of about 5 inches, whereas the canard wing has a cord of about 4.5 inches. And as you can see, both the main wing and the canard wing are Armin wings. You can find videos on Ed's channel called Experimental Airlines that tell you how to make them. They work pretty well overall and they're easy to make. And you can see here that unlike the Peace Drone, this thing actually has a moving rudder surface. And you can see the servo in there. And as you can see, I actually attached it, that is the rudder, with the same technique that Ed, Ed shows for attaching the vertical stabilizers to his airplanes. You know, I got, the, I got a gift card bent uh, 90 degrees sticking up through the fuselage tube attached to the vertical stabilizer with with uh, what's that stuff? mounting tape and I have it covered with duct tape here color duct tape that is and, and of course there's hot glue all along here <coughs> and here to help hold it in place and then go down here if you look in there, you can see the gift card coming out through the top of the fuselage. You go above, you can see it. See, there it is right there. Goes down, and there it is. There it is, bent 90 degrees, and it attached to the ceiling of the fuselage with hot glue. And you can also see that the servo operating the rudder is actually attached to the gift card with double-sided mounting tape, the same stuff that Ed's, Ed likes to use. And overall, this stuff works pretty well. The servo is a park zone servo with a nylon gear. It's the same servo that they sell for use with flaps and landing gear in park zone airplanes. Though it works just fine for this little rudder surface. And you can see it moving. Here I am moving it. Okay. Flip the airplane over. Put the camera down real quick. There you go. And here's the underside of the airplane. As you can see, I got a servo driving each control surface. And each of these four servos actually came out of a Park Zone Typhoon 2 3D. In fact, just about all the electronics in this plane are out of a Typhoon 2 3D save for the battery and the rudder servo which I bought separately and these servos are 
Park's own digital servos with metal gears. They seem to work pretty well. And flip her back over. And here's the motor. It's a geared motor that came out of the Park Zone Typhoon 2. I don't know the exact specs on it, but you know it's uh, for a three. It's for a 3D plane, so it works pretty well <laughs> for this thing, anyway. You can see it has a gearbox that this good-sized propeller is attached to. And the motor mount is attached with double-sided mounting tape. I don't know if you can see it, but it isn't. It's it's not coming out. You know, I could shake it all I want. It, it's not coming out. It, can hold it by it even. This stuff work really works well. <laughs> okay, put the plane down. And let's see next. I'll break this thing down so you can better see the internal guts of the thing. So here it is broken down. As you can see, it breaks down into a nice compact package, much like the Peace Drone. And as you can see, I have access holes that the wings cover up when they're attached. And if you look in this one, you can see my motor mount. It's made of wood, obviously, and then the motor gearbox is bolted onto the mount. And here's my speed controller. It's the same speed controller that was in the Typhoon 2. Uh, I believe it's a 30 amp speed controller. It's made by E-Flight. And if we look in here, you can see my battery holder. As you can see, I've got three loops of Velcro. One here. Let's see, right there, you can see this one. That's the one of the loops there. And there's a, another loop here. You can see that. And there's one here that goes longitudinally, like this. And the holder itself, aside from Velcro, is made from gift cards and hot glue. Much like what Ed does. And back here you can see the receiver. It's, all, it's the receiver that came out of the Typhoon 2. It's nothing terribly special, but it has a generous amount of channels. <laughs> and there's the lead that I plug the aileron servos into. And here's the canard wing. As you can see, it's folded in half. Uh, that's a feature that that's actually a feature of the Peace Drone. Here you can see where it folds. You can see it's uh, actually duct tape that's acting as the hinge. And you can see I got a a spar in there. It's actually an aluminum arrow shaft. It's uh, it weighs more than a carbon arrow shaft, but the plane flies flies fine with it. You can see the wires. And, whoops. And then I'll unfold it so you can see the bottom, and as you can see there is where the wires come out. They're also attached to a wire, attached to a wire splitter, much like the canard wing servos. Then what I do is, you know, I run this into this hole and connect it to that lead right there. That also leads to the receiver, as you can see. As you can see, you know, it, uh, it fold, unfolds, and then what I do is I stick the rod in. Of course, using another rod to push it in further, but you get the idea from this. And as you can see, it just stays nice and rigid. It's a really nice, 
It's a really nice design. Uh, thank you, Ed, for sharing that technique. I really like it. Uh, this, uh, you know, makes it real nice for if you want to break down the whole plane and just toss it in the back seat of your car. You know, even the wing folds in half, so it just takes up a lot less space. That's cumbersome. All right, well, that's a canard tube. And all that's left for me now is to show you it in flight.